Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. It Gita. shall be. I'm Baron. And in the last video, I overlooked the door here. And another one here. See? Uh, uh, uh. So we're not going to go yet. We will have fun with those doors first. So we save. And open them. Okay, a set of stairs. Consider it done. Oh, this. Oh, that doesn't bode well, my friends. Safe. Hmm? Greetings, puny one. I am Saladrax. I assume the disturbance I heard earlier was another attack by the Mind Flayers, but I see now that you must have been the cause. It is nice to see a new mouse stumble into my lair. Hmm. What's a dragon doing inside this dungeon? My story is truly a grand tale. Of course, Every story about me is going to be grand, simply by virtue of the main character. <laughs> it's a vain one. <laughs> that goes without saying, almighty Saladrax. Please continue. Like most of the unfortunate creatures on this level, I was summoned by the mad magician in the glass cage. However, unlike most of the others, I have no real desire to escape this place. Why choose to keep the grace and beauty of your form hidden from the world, Saladrax? I have only been here a few years, an insignificant time for a dragon, but I choose to remain for a number of reasons. For one, I find the antics of Carson and the other lesser creatures on this level amusing. Plus, I have been able to acquire a fair hoard of treasure from the endless supply of beings Carson conjures up with that machine. And usually I have little to fear from thieves and looters in there. I assure you I have no intention of stealing any of your treasure great cellar drinks. Perhaps I am paranoid, hey Widget blew me. The machine of Lam the Mad has had some small effect on all the creatures trapped in here. We sometimes behave irrationally. They are saying they say there's a fine line between madness and genius, great Saladrax. Too true, I'm afraid, but I grew wary of this conversation now. Perhaps you could return another time? Uh, very well, I will return, retreat and return again later to bask in the glory of Saladrax. Perhaps when you ret will return, I will be in a more talkative mood and we can resume our conversation. Really, you have anything else to say? Ah, you have returned. Sooner than I expected. But I do not blame you for wishing to be overwhelmed by my glory once again. Oh, most powerful of dragons, may I receive the benefit of your wisdom? Very well, ask your questions and I will share my knowledge with you. Do you know how to get down to the next level of the dungeon? I would imagine that the machine of Lam the Mad is the key to descending to the next level. Other than that, I could not really say. Um, can you tell me anything about the imprisoned one? I know nothing of this imprisoned one. That is a concern for lesser creatures such as yourself. Uh, do you know how to get through the glass cage that protects Karsten? An interesting question indeed. I do have some knowledge in this matter. The crystal mallet is the key. Strike it against Carson's cage six times and the glass will dissolve. What do you know about this mallet can be found? From the comments of the Githyanki leader I know it was recently in possession of the Illithid in the northern part of the dungeon, where it is now I could not say. Uh, what can you tell me about using the machine of Lum the Mad? I cannot tell you much about the devious contraption, but I know this. There are notes scattered about this level that may give you the combinations to the machine. Seek them out. My thanks. 
what can you tell me about the Githyanki and the Ilithids? Karsten summoned both groups several years ago. They wasted their time battling each other or launching impotent attacks against Karsten's glass cage. Foolish creatures all, though the Gith always showed me the proper respect. Uh, where did Carson come from? The mad mage was here when I first arrived, though I suspect he is nothing more than a foolish adventurer toyed with a contraption beyond his control. Now he is trapped within his glass cage. Um, do you know how to get past the vault doors in the room with the torches? I know a little of this matter. The torches must be fueled by the oils found in the colored vats. I suspect there is a specific pattern which must be followed, but I cannot say for sure. Yes, that's all. Okay. So, we have a dragon. Let's say wh see whether we can actually slay him. Because that's what we do with dragons. Oh wait, I hit the wrong button. Or not? No. What does that button do? It doesn't do anything. The dragon is gone. Where's it? No, it's not gone. Fine. Pause. So we need a uh, box skin on our fighters. Where is it? Here. Another box skin on you. You yes. cast protection from evil. You cast a mass invisibility. There he is. Uh, that was bad. Because you're here, I couldn't cast the uh, box skin on on Minsk now. I was too fast, actually. Yes. Nature servant awaits. Help however I can. Wait, you don't have that anymore? No, okay. My mistake. And protection from evil. What I you await do? your need. Manus. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. I know. And chant. Yes. A haste? Where is it? What? Enemy sighted? Why is that? Apparently he doesn't like <laughs> us buffing in front of him. Fine. You point, I punch. It shall be. Yeah. 
you cast insect playing on him? Okay. Stone skin haste. Consider it done. No, that's wrong. I don't want to use that. Where is it? It's here. Why can't I use that? Oh, there it is. Okay, I get it. Oh, that's how you use that. Okay. Do you have a Calvin Sporting Whip? doesn't work. Okay. So we have to buff it all shall of this be you. I do wonder though, do we have something to protect against fire? Protection from fire. You don't have that. How long does it work? Does everybody need that? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Manus potentis. That was K. 
Kaldorn. So the only one who isn't protected from fire yet is Minsk. Manus. Yes. And a mass invisibility. There it is. Thanks. What is my task? Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Stop it. Full stop. You cast an insect plague on him. Insertus, Pulcher, Imperium. And now we start attacking. Oh, you just have to be there! Okay, what did he do? Minor spell turning, dragon fear, lower fire resistance, not fire. Okay, so we give you two helm swarming whips, or maybe three. Harry doesn't have that? No. Why don't you have that? Well then you use a lower resistance. You do have that, do you? Yes. <coughs> My cash magic has been interrupted. Sounds good. Go for the eyes, move. Go for the eyes, yeah. He's barely in this. You could um, try to use Greater Wilmot attack. Greater Wilmot attack. I stand ready. Greater Wilmot attack. Problem is, they lost their spells. I will do my best. Retreat. You have a plan? Yep. You will fall yet. He's badly injured. Okay. Fire. On my honor. File. <coughs> hey, I don't like that. What do you want? Drink something. What do you require? By, By my honor, you shall not strike see you down. Another day. I'm Yay. so happy you brought me with 4, you. XP. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Hmm. So all my magical uh, thingies didn't really work out. You should have concentrated on the melee fighters and not on the three mages, but hmm. yes. that's your call, I guess. What do we get here? Stuff of Ram plus four, likely created by the same unknown archmage who is responsible for the Ring of Ram. This stuff of striking does not use charges and will never become useless. Ooh, very well. 
That's a good weapon. It's probably better than this one here. I mean, that's a plus four. Yeah, that is also plus four. But large creatures, such as dragons or giants, but okay. 10% uh, ch chance of an opponent uh, to be knocked back and st be stunned. That's a good thing. Well, the jewelry goes to you. There's Done. another door here, if I'm not totally wrong. And I guess I'm not. Cannot save during combat. What kind of combat? Let's go down. Oh shit. A demi-lich. Despair not. I will inspire you by charging lively on! Okay. Jump on my sword while you can, evil! I no effect! I need to get a sword. No effect! Yeah, stories amongst I my need people. To get a sword. Nature King Underground is just not for the Avaria. As you ask. No, that's not a good idea. So... He imprisons people. Not funny. You point where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. I know. You could no. Don't you have an item that you could use? Jump on my sword while you. Berserk. Okay. Live by the sword. Live a good. Uh, that's not right. No effect. I need to pick a sword. 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 No effect. Okay. That's not right. No effect. So because he's berserk. No the dragon effect. can't do anything against him. Uh, the damage can't no effect. him. I need uh, that's not right. No effect. I need to pick it. 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 No effect. No effect! I need to get a sword. Bingo. It shall be. What do we get loot wise here? Consider it done. Yep. You should look for traps. Gotcha. And I got money. What's that? Deck of the star plus four. 5% chance of making the user go invisible are for 60 seconds after each successful attack. Rumored to have been dropped from the heavens by a careless lesser deity, this dagger is a favorite among thieves and assassins, as it will sometimes magically hide its user from the victim's sight. Yeah, it's a plus 4 weapon. Not really bad, um, but who uses daggers anyway? What do you want? 
So, there's nothing hidden here. Uh, at least nothing trapped. That's what I wanted to say. I will do my best. We get a few more jewels. Okay, and that's all. How much XP did we get? 55,000, okay. I mean, if you have a Berserk character, those damages are not that powerful. Yes. I, when I defeated Kangex, maybe it was not really necessary to use um, the ah! protection all from magic. All will fall before the might of Minsk and Boo. Evil uh, all about, all will fall! Yeah, what I wanted to say, it might not have been necessary to use those protection from magic scrolls that I used because I could have given the staff of Rin that I had to Minsk and turned him into Berserk mode and then he could, probably could have killed Kangex too. But, you know. Minsk, stand down and calm yourself. I will fight! Minsk fights and evil falls! And you have fought well and true as a warrior should, but the battle is won. Minsk, let the fury pass. I will... I... Keldon? Well fought, Minsk. Your righteous fury is a sight to see, but do not let it consume you. Yes? Come on. Move ahead. So, yep, the Berserk is useful sometimes. Although I don't really know why you why you can't imprison a Berserk character. I mean, what sense does that make? Why does what does the spell care about your state of mind? So, I think we have to go very well. Now that we have the oils and the tinder boxes. Or at least the oils and the tinder box, it's just one. See? Red, red, blue. Or whatever it is. Purple, maybe. That's one sign. And here we had another one. Blue, purple, red. That actually is the hint that we need to deal with those things here. So, I light the torch with the red oil. Red oil. And now I remember why traveling with you purple. was always so much fun. And here it was. Blue. Purple and red. Everybody gets one ten thousand crest appearance points. The torches have been lit correctly and the door opens with a boom. Chakalaka. Okay, but we will go through that door in the next video. Haha, <laughs> cliffhanger. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.